and skill to be able to do that. You do. You Whereas, do. You, know, like, you don't got to do too much to nail your way to victory. Like, like, characters like Ike or some of the other sword characters. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I think stuff like that should be. I think um, as far as what you said, I actually saw a really interesting tweet uh, not too long ago. Uh, somebody said, you're being carried with the character that you play. And uh, he was very adamant about saying that. And a lot of people were like, well, what if the character's hard to play? He said, you're still being carried. So, like, for example, Bayonetta. And I, I really don't know how to make heads or tails of this one. Uh, I'm not saying he's wrong. Uh, but it's just like, Bayonetta is hard to play. Yeah. Or at least in, in Smash 4. I think she is, mechanically speaking, a hard character to play. But she has really busted tools in for You know what I mean? So it's like, you can you can just play any old character and not have any type of skill whatsoever. Right. And it's not like you're going to be winning Evo. You know? So are you carried with a character even if they're hard to play? I guess it depends. I mean, if you back yourself into a corner where you're only good with one character and gets nerfed or something, you're kind of hoping you're going to have to work for a new ball game. Yep. But Samus is a character that I'm really excited to see. Mm -hmm. uh, Snake was pretty heavily countered by Samus at this past weekend. MVP had a really hard time for me, Sam Samus. So I'm not at all surprised to see Samus show up in this matchup. Let's see if uh, Laser Blast can make some match. I don't know why there's such a, a large number of people saying, oh, Samus is bad. Like, it happens every time. <laughs> it's like, oh, Samus is bad. And then, you know, some time passes. Like, oh, yeah, Samus is good. It's like, yeah. Uh, she has good zoning. She has good uh, good frame. She has decent dash attacks. She just has a lot of really neat tools. You know? I mean, Crab's not the best in the world, but having a tech is bad. Ooh, there. Oh, wait, here. Mm -hmm. Blows themselves up mm -hmm. with the C4. Not exactly you want to start things off. But 85% damage, nothing so upset about mm -hmm. sticking to the forward so it's going to allow Copper to find that opening off the dash attack. They can set up that off-ledge guard game with the Nikita. Woo! Good Nikita. Double B could have it tough time. Oh, yeah. Okay, charging up that laser or the beam. And Blizzard Blast is just throwing out so many projectiles right now. He's just kind of establishing his, uh, his little stage presence right now, which is what you're supposed to do to stay. Some of the percentage rack you know, can be somewhat tough certain instances with Samus. I feel like on this battleground in particular, especially against Snake, you're going to have a pretty rough time. There's almost always going to be a grenade or three to mm. deal with. Oh, yeah, And definitely. every time you give Snake some space at all, you're going to find yourself staring down the barrel of a Nikita missile and or an up smash. Oh. Up smash. Ooh. Yikes. That's a shame. But, you know, I I don't I don't want to attest to how great uh, Samus is up close, but I feel like uh, this particular Snake player is... Oh, okay, that was a very good forward uh, this particular uh, Snake player isn't really one to get up in your face. I mean, I think he's doing it now because he has a significant lead. But uh, at the very beginning, he was just kind of spacing it out, which, you know, no faults there. Especially when you're fighting against Samus? Oh my yeah. god. You definitely want to do that. Conceptually, I feel like Samus can be work up close, but she's just a very committal character. Like, even yeah. her forward tilt leaves, you, leaves a window where it can get some kind of counter response. The neutral attack isn't the strongest thing you'd ever see. The jab is there. The, the jab is certainly not the best. You can just like mash A between Samus and Jab yep. and get a counteract most of the time. It's true. Um, it's the true. dash attack, while strong for Samus, can also leave you in a pretty rough spot as far as in lag goes. Mm. So when Blazer Blast does go in on the offensive up close, if they don't connect, they're gonna find themselves falling behind. Oh, oh that was a good nair though. Nice. That was a solid meaty hit there. Okay. Finishing the uh or it's there. Okay, Nikita sending it to the other side of the stage. Oh, don't let it happen again. Yeah, I don't think Laser Blast can get to any of those. Is able to get back onto the stage. The move of the up smash just misses that. Oh, you went now, now, now. Oh, look, look, <laughs> Blazer Blast is like, oh, I need to probably keep an eye on the stage. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> probably a good idea. I need to be mindful of the C4. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, I, I think uh, in terms of that matchup, I think if. Um, Blazer Blast gets rushed down, or at least uh, if uh, Copter plays at a bit of a quicker pace and decides to get up into the face of the Samus, then yeah. I think it'll end up a little better for Copter and uh, get the punishes that he needs. Uh, there were times where uh, Snake would like, oh, uh, there was a point in time where he was, uh, Snake was at the corner of the stage and I think he whipped an up tilt and the Samus just kind of like rolled away and wasn't able to really do anything about it. Uh, Snake has a pretty quick up tilt. I don't think there is a lot of end lag, but I mean, I don't think the roll was the best decision to make. But I mean, hey, we, we all have those clinch uh, right. reflexes, you know? I mean, in competitive Smash, you, you, whenever there is an option on the table like that available, just rolling away, 
that's not how you end up seeing victory at the end of the game. Typically, so I though. do think you want to try to stay on the offensive, and it does look like we are going to go back into the Samus Snake matchup. Mm. I think also Samus needs to try to apply more pressure to Snake with the projectiles, force out the shield, force out some kind of response. It just felt like the entire time Copter was just able to set up the game that they wanted with the grenades with the C4. And Blazer Blast is just kind of playing into that. So yes. I think if they can kind of set the tone of the game, do more things like that, get those side views out there to force the shield so they can get in close. Ooh, maybe grab some uh, range, get some Z's in there, some range grabs. Mm -hmm. They can find themselves looking at game for And Samus is there is no joke either. Uh, that allows you to get in a bit closer. And I think it gives her the necessary range while still, uh, you know, being able to get offensive and have aggressive movement. Already trying to set up the fireworks. Woo! Setting up a pretty impressive edge guard game. Laser Blast is able to get back on stage. Can they get back towards a neutral state? Nice parry there from Cop. Three came ready to play. <laughs> and I think uh I think Blazer Blast is still getting used to grenades as a whole, because he kind of just like stops whenever grenades are thrown at him. You can just let it bounce off of your face, take the damage, and just dash attack him. I feel like you, you have to respect the grenades, but at the same time, you have to just try to go around. You have to have to you have to have a good understanding of your character's mobility to just be on the offensive while not being in the range of grenades. If you spend most of your time just waiting Whoa. to see how they're going to get thrown at you, where they're going to get placed, you'll find your back against the wall the entire time, and you actually never mount the offensive. Exactly. You're not worried about Snake. You're worried about not taking the damage. It's, it's just going to happen. You're just going to take damage against Snake. You're going to get taxed. Speaking of tags, Blazer Blast loses their first stock. 95% racked up for Copter. Mm -hmm. One solid smash. Could even that back up. But Copter's doing a really good job getting these grabs, getting these smashes. Mm -hmm. Just posing all kinds of problems right now for Blazer Blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's exploiting, uh, he's exploiting the slow uh, approaches by Blazer Blast. Uh, Tends to approach by jumping a lot. Charge neutral B. That Ooh. shield is mighty low. Could oh, be yeah. an opportunity for Blazer Blast to play on the offensive. Oh, Use the down B, go to the ledge, gets grabbed, Nikita missile for their trouble, mm. and then the air dash into certain doom. Oops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might have been some Smash 4 experience there. Like I thought I'd be able to get back from that. Mm -hmm. oh, wait. That's a nice grab, and the down throw misses the up tilt, finds a dash attack afterwards, Ooh. Blazer Blast. Taking a lot of up smashes. Eating damage. Mm. The uh, entire second stock was a zero to death for Copter. He's been at 95.7% since the last time I remember looking at his old corner. Goodness gracious. Oh, there's the grab. Okay, there we go. I took out the uh, I took out the third stock last time, or the first stock the last time, last game. Forward air not able to connect for Blaze to Blast, a viable tool for Sand. It's just not able to make too much happen with it so far. 95% on their last stock, Blazer Blast. Just find themselves dropping down on the winter side of pools at the start of the night. Not how you want to start things up. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch out for that C4 in the middle of the stage. He steps forward, it's gonna be now. Mm. It's gonna be there. Goes <laughs> <laughs> for Nikita, lets it drop in. Ooh, Fade away lots. jump shot, up smash just misses. It looks like Cop is actively trying to get Blazer Blast to step in that C4. He's going for stop points. Or I'll just make it a basic missile. Yeah, the Nikita will do it. Nikita will do it. Uh